Okay, so this uh, quick lesson is about prime numbers and their sort of general uses and things like that. So what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that won't divide by anything other than one or itself. So one isn't actually a prime number, it's a special case, but the rest of the prime numbers will start at two. Okay, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, 19, 23, 29, and we carry on. The basic thing about all prime numbers is they end in either 1, 3, 7, or 9. Okay, so not every number ending in 1, 3, 7, or 9 will be a prime number. Uh, the best way to check, something like, say, 27, will it divide by 2? No. Will it divide by 3? Yes, it will. Uh, but keep going. Will it divide by 4? Will it divide by 5? And so on, until you sort of find out. Until you get to 9, if it won't divide by anything from 1 to 9, pretty much guaranteed it's going to be a prime number. Okay. Now, why do we want to know about prime numbers? Why do we want to be useful? And any number can be written as a sequence of prime numbers, a product of its prime numbers, as prime factors. So we'll have a look at how we actually do that. We'll have a look at the number 72. Okay, so will that divide by 2? Yes, it will. This is how we find the prime factors. Yes, it will divide by 2, and it will give us 36. Okay, will 36 divide by 2? Yes, it will. It will give us 18. Will 18 divide by 2? It certainly will. It will give us 9. Will 9 divide by 2? No. Will 9 divide by 3? Yes, it will. It'll give us 3. And 3 is a prime number, so we stop there. Okay, let's think of another number. We'll look at 48. Will 48 divide by 2? Yes, it certainly will. It'll give us 24. Will 24 divide by 2? Yes, it certainly will. It'll give us 12. Will 12 divide by 2? Indeed. It'll give us 6. And then obviously. To give us three. So 72 as a combination of its prime factors will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, and 48 will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, so we can see they're fairly similar. Um, one, two, three, four twos and three, two twos, three twos. Why on earth would this be helpful? Well, from this we can actually very simply find the lowest common multiple of 72 and 48. Now the way we do that is we look at the prime factors and we just cross off, whenever we have a duplicate, we cross off one of them. So there's a three here and a three there, so we can cross that three off. There's a two here and a two there, we can cross that two off, two here, and two there, cross that two off, two here, and two there, cross that two off. Okay, so we're left with all of these left. Best thing to do is just cross the numbers off from one of the prime factors, because then you'll be left with the other prime factor intact, and then just the other, the other number intact, and the other, just some, some of the prime factors left. So we actually find that the lowest common multiple of 72 and 48 is just 72 times 2, which is in fact 144. So 144 is the lowest common multiple of 72 and 48. Okay, let's practice that again with a different example. So this time we want to find the lowest common multiple of 96 and 84. So, same deal again. Divide by 2. Yes, it will. Yep. And divide by 2 again. And by 2 again. And by 2 again. Okay. 
So we've got 96 now. What's wrong with that? We've got 3 times 2. 5 2s. Okay. And 84. Divide by 2 again. 21 won't divide by 2. So we'll try 3. It will divide by 3. To give us 7. And 7 is a prime number. So 84 just divides. So we've got 7 times 3 times 2 times 2. So again, we'll go through and cross off any that match up. So we've got 2. Yeah, we've got 2. Yeah, we've got 3. We've got 7 and 9. So the lowest common multiple equals 96 times by. 7. So let's do 96 times 7. Let's remember our long multiplication from earlier. So 7 times 6 is 42. And 7 times 9 is 63. So you get the answer 600. And 72. There we go. There's lots of those questions for you to practice in your booklet, and then we'll get on with the next lesson.